Join us for a review of the updated Mini Clubman John Cooper Works. Let's go! Here in the front we can see the typical mini style with the round headlamps and also the first of all friendly grille but then in the JCW version it becomes evil with a black covering all over the place and the red contrast stripe also here on the paint we can see and also wider air intakes here in the front and also the stronger spoilers. Headlamps come with LED as standard, optionally you also get a matrix LED. The length is at 4 meters 25, 13 foot 9 or 167 inches. This is a compact segment vehicle. The Clubman of course just has more space in the interior than the classic small Mini. You can see it here with the additional window right there. Then the JCW styling here with a contrasting red roof and also the contrasting red mirror caps. John Cooper Works logo right here and also the all four batch means it's all wheel drive so front wheel drive platform but here also plus rear on demand. The Clubman used to have three doors meanwhile four doors in this generation which is of course more practical and more normal however still unique here at the rear with these split door opening more to that when we have the interior review with the trunk and so on. With the update you also get the Union Jack design here for the tail lamps, also horizontally drawn and uh, on the one hand typical hatch style but again due to the split doors here it gets really this very unique character. What do we have under the hood? So the normal Mini Clubman 1.5 liter 3 cylinder or 2 liter 4 cylinder both for petrol and diesel and here we have the 2 liter 4 cylinder turbo petrol engine 306 horsepower 4.9 seconds is the acceleration figure to 1 kilometers or 62 miles an hour it's pretty powerful all-wheel drive so front plus rear on demand the more power you apply the more will be sent to the rear axle this really helps us to get the traction to the ground and also is a big difference to the small mini here the all-wheel drive available for the clubman and for the countryman special JCW elements like this entry badge right there or aluminum pedals and then also the steering wheel with the red contrast stitches on the inside. Seating wise usually the JCW would come with a performance seat with integrated head restraint. We also have pictures how it looks like in the updated Countryman. It would be the same seat form and either with Dynamica, the microfiber on the inside or also with fabric on the inside. Both are available and then this CD with the separated head restraint would also be available in all leather red animal free however this one here is the animal skin option for today interior overview soft touch at the top dashboard here and then this typical round dial which is pretty cool used to be the speedometer but now houses either 6.5 inch screen or here the optional 8.8 .8 inch screen typical round dials also for the temperature and this is a really nice feature here when you go to the right have the temperature more in the red zone area and here in the blue that you know what you're doing actually and also the vent strength here with the visualizations this is a nice emotional feature when you change the driving mode for example to sport and it switches to red here mid normal balance setting is yellow and the ec settings or the eco drive settings to green is right here and also with this green ring around. So this is a really cool atmosphere they created here. Then the compact steering wheel with the JCW contour stitches, quite good grip and compact size. The shifting levers here help you to drive a little bit more sporty. Right side with the volume control at the steering wheel, left side for the cruise control. 
And once again, I like to have these manual climate knobs. This is not the newest vehicle, not the newest generation, but therefore we have more straightforward user interface. In the lower part, this cool cockpit design here with the start-stop engine button, aircraft inspired. In the lower part, you have a USB-A charger next to non-adaptive cup holders. Sporty styling also for the shifting lever here, put to the left side. We do it in the driving part to put it to the sports shifting mode. Infotainment system up close here with the wireless Apple CarPlay. It's the only solution, only wireless, only CarPlay, no Android Auto. Digital instruments, you can see here, the left and the right side, you, there is something to see. This is not a display. The display is on the center part, and then you can see the right and left side just get illuminated, and the center part then is the full digital part from the display. And the head-up display, it has, you know, this plastic layer that goes up. Um, it's, of course, not as good as it would be projected into the windscreen. Getting inside in the front, it's fairly easy, and you do feel somewhat cramped as a tall person. It's still somewhat okay. And again, these seats, first of all, the animal skin surface is really stiff. The leather red surface would also be stiff, so the the Namica microfiber service or the fabric service would be better to adapt to the body a little bit. And also in the sports seat I have the feeling that it's better suitable for tall people because on the one hand you have more support, on the other hand the seats themselves they are a little bit larger I think. Now getting to the rear and of course the big advantage if you compare to a small Mini that you can sit properly here in the Mini Clubman in the rear, compact segment vehicle. However if you put the seat a little bit higher then it would also fit better with the knees and the recess right here. However, you can drive this car with four tall adults, one means 86 or six foot one, that works. Now to the trunk area, and this has this typical or unique split style. And yeah, the cool thing is really that it also works here with the foot sensor in the lower part. And thanks to the gas struts, it also opens. You have to do it twice then that the other side is also opening. Also get a <laughs> yeah, warning with the indicators. And you can of course also just open it like this here with pressing here. And even there the gas struts yeah, almost works automatically. Pretty cool. This is then the unique perspective right here. You have a cover you can also remove like this. We also put some sample luggage inside. As you could see that also the height is actually no problem. The length here, normal length is 75 centimeters. The width, just about a meter. Welcome to Thomas's driving lounge with the Mini Clubman. John Cooper works. <laughs> That's exactly what you just heard. So here, three and six horsepower from this two-liter four-cylinder engine. Four point nine seconds is the acceleration figure, and yeah, indeed, that feels. Quite connected to the road, we have the optional 19 inch wheels here. So, 18 would be the center one. 19 inch, of course, give you even closer feeling than to the road. However, some comfort losses then when you run over some bumps and so on. So, and you really still have this mini go kart feeling, although we are in the Clubman here. So, yes, you have a longer wheelbase, it's a longer car than the original smaller mini. But still, you have this go-kart mini feeling, and when you go some right and left, you feel really connected. Then, still, good steering feeling as well, and it's actually pretty precise and natural. So, what we know here from BMW models as well, that we have a very natural driving feeling here, steering-wise, now to the motorway. And in a sports mode here, everything set to sport. You also have like a, a shifting punch then. Maybe also heard that. And you can also use the manual shifting pedals here. So actually you don't miss a bigger engine in here then. I mean, after all, it's not a huge car. It's more a compact segment. That's of course why the two wheel force in is just fine also. And that really works very well. All-wheel drive, so front plus rear is a front-wheel driven platform. So you have then also torque from the rear axle on demand. And here about 150 kilometers an hour. It's actually still decent as for the calmness on the road. It's not the best as for the noise insulation, but definitely also not the worst. 
and the car again feels really calm and collected as for the handling on the road right here and I'm going right and left a little bit once more now a little bit on the brakes good brake feeling as well speed is being reduced lane change car does not tilt or something and we can also set a cruise control of course but most of the time you try not to use cruise control in this vehicle so this here the sportsman you also here we're still in a lower gear but when you go um, back for example to the normal driving mode this is then for the traction control settings and then when I put the shifting lever to the central position then we're in the normal D driving mode and the car shifts up we're in a higher gear and then is also meant to have a lower fuel consumption. At the same time you can always use the shifting pedals, shift back yourself or then once again put the middle shifting lever to the S, to the left, to the S shifting mode, sport shifting mode and then once again the gears are turned up higher, shifting up later. And that was the launch control, <laughs> so that works when the car is already running a little bit and the engine is on the you know, right temperature and so on. And you see by that we even get more punch out of this vehicle and wow, that's really, really cool. And here also the all-wheel drive really plays a big factor since we can just get more traction to the ground. So on the front axle, there's also a mechanical differential lock. So that's also a difference than to the small Mini, which has an electronic differential lock in the front. But here the all-wheel drive does really the best to reduce this front rear bias. And by that we, you know, we really have a good traction to the ground. And I mean, dry conditions here at the moment, but even if it would be wet, then the all-wheel drive would even have more advantages. What about the suspension? So this is the fixed suspension we have in here and it's also only possible, as I said earlier, with the 19-inch wheels. So the adaptive suspension would be possible with the 18-inch wheels and I would also advise you to go for that. Here, the roads in Bavaria here are so well done here at the moment, so there are hardly any like fierce bumps or so and here then like the stiff suspension is a lot of sporty fun that's really cool to drive it and it's also not that uncomfortable the lacking of comfort rather comes than here from the seats but when the road has some bumps in it and so on then you would feel this mix of fixed suspension plus 19 inch wheels and they're definitely 18 inch wheels together with the adaptive suspension which is an option would be the best comfort choice definitely and now to our conclusion for today with the updated Mini Clubman John Cooper Works. Exterior-wise, the classic small Mini of course looks a little bit more agile because this one here a little bit stretched in the length. And the Countryman, the SUV version of this one here, has this special crossover look. So just from the visual perspective, maybe the Clubman is not the leading one. However, it is still a very unique form and especially here with these split, split doors in the rear, this is also a very unique concept. And it's actually a lot of fun to load things in and out with that one and reduce the visibility from the inside to the exterior. Yeah, I think you can also live with that. Especially John Cooper works, these sporty accentuations make it even more interesting. Interior, build quality is somewhat solid, but it's of course nothing where Mini would be leading. And the usability of the car is also, it's actually quite simple to use. You also have some space on the interior. Definitely way ahead of the classic Mini in there. That's why you would go for the Clubman, to have a compact size vehicle and just to have more space on the interior. Driving wise, there's hardly any compromise. I see if you compare this one here to the small Mini, Actually, this one here is even better in driving, I think, because it has the all-wheel drive, so less front-wheel bias. Really gives you a very good punch. You have also more horsepower output to the smaller JCW version. Both Countryman and Clubman come now with these 306 horsepower, and they really give you a very, very decent drive. 
not only from the slow speed areas but also in the high speed areas there's still some power left in this engine and definitely they're profiting there from the bmw technology so a lot of fun in driving if you want more comfort go with 18 inch wheels with the adaptive suspension today with the fixed suspension and the 19 inch wheels the sportier setup maybe you want exactly this other than that you also have the other option yeah and talking about option and pricing if you go above 50k 50 000 euros in the price here in the compact segment it's of course really tough to swallow so the price performance factor has never been that good with the you know with the new minis so really expensive vehicles and you know also considering from what they offer but the performance especially here for the jcw version that was definitely there it was a lot of fun to drive it so what do you think about the clubman jcw here today leave us your comments in our sections and also tune in to more relevant reviews we can also recommend you to just browse our channel you'll find so many other interesting reviews right there see you there